Good morning, class. Uh, I'm going to show you what to do today on 1121. Um, you're going to get two pages of handouts, one of which has the advantages and disadvantages. And in a boring old social studies class, we would just have this, and then we'd just talk about it, and that's it. Um, but there's more to it than this. There's way more that can be added. This is just so bland. You can't really describe this. Um, it needs more. And what you're going to do is investigate in six different stations um, what exactly the, the, the uniforms for these two sides are, the Americans and the British. Hello. And then also really zoom in on these reasons that are here on this list. So that's the second handout. Um, <clears throat> don't mind. Let's see. This will be on the should be on the screen today. That's going to be interesting. Um, this is basically the direction. Station one, three, four, and six use Chromebooks. Classroom uh, and C three. Um, it's based on the tables. Um, when Mr. Wagner is sitting there looking at you guys, the tables on the left are one, two, and three. The tables on the right are four, five, six, seven. So I kind of drew a picture for the sub in my lesson plans, but anyway. Uh, station two uses the rocks that are in the back of the room, and station five uses the textbook and notes to add supporting de details to that Venn chart that I already showed you. It looks like that. Um, if you're on a Chromebook, go into Google Classroom and click on the directions file so you can more easily click on it. So what am I? What does that mean, Mr. Wagner? I'm glad you asked. Which swing and miss? There we go. So I've got a classroom, and I, I don't know, you know, whatever. Day one, so let's, let's keep it real and go for day one. My favorite class, day one, period seven, eight. Um, <laughs> there's a question What did you think about the rock activity? And you can add comments, I think. Um, but then, as you scroll down, this files here. Stations in the American Revolutionary War. If I click on it, directions that you got as a handout today. Because people were having trouble getting these links to work. But then you can just get out of here. You can just push Control and the link. And just, click, well, or just click on it. And then that happens. And then you can actually go to the link, which is nice. Um, Disclaimer, the first station is kind of boring. It's just read and analyze. But it's, you know, they all have to be done by Wednesday night at midnight. So, you know, pick your poison and go for it. Um, so those are the directions you can get to the fruit classroom. Not yet, because I'm making the video now. But at the top of the screen in each classroom will say, well, you know, you'll be able to click on this video and watch it. Um, that's kind of deep. That's like kind of like the Mandela effect, right? Um, so that takes care of today's lesson um, back in Smartboardville. There are going to be sticky pads. I took them all. <laughs> I took them home in my book bag. I'm just rising. Um, write down any outstanding questions. Let's say you finish station four, and then you're like, uh, yeah, I just, what, what's this Cornwallis guy all about? Then you have to write down that question and bring it to class. Um, and then we'll, we'll have like a answering session, or you could post it in our classroom and then I can answer them. It's pretty neat that way too. Um, so there aren't any sticky pads or what are they called? Notepads that like with adhesive on them because I took them home so they wouldn't disappear. Um, back in, that'll make you have nightmares. Um, Screen sharing and presenting to everyone. So if I want to stop screen sharing, one. Um, so my daughter is real sick, so I got to get home to her. But I just wanted to show you guys this over here. Selfie. Hey, laptop cart. Um, we need somebody to bring that to C8 at the end of C3's class, and we need somebody to bring this wonderful Chromebook cart back. Ah, oh, Chromebook, Chromebook cart. We love you. All right. Um, the handouts are right here on the first table in C3. Oh, this is tough to do. Try in here. Get out of here. What's this? I'm making the screen dizzy. All right. See, right there. 
And <laughs> oh, I had too much coffee because I'm so tired. Uh, back here, I wanted to show you. So there's this rock cart. Yep, got to get my lefts and rights correct. The rock cart needs to go back and forth between C3 and C8. So the laptop cart and the rock cart, you need to have somebody take it to the C8 room. And then before the class is over, you have to take the laptop cart and this rock cart back and have somebody plug in the, the rock cart back at that position at the last table that usually nobody sits at and is right next to my beautiful gray cart. Now, there are very specific rocks in the two sections, and they need to go there. So 7, 8, 16, 21, and 24 go right there bottom of the cart when they're transported. And then over here, two, what is it? Two, 13, 14, 15, and 19 go right there. And then they go into the cart when we go to the next room. And then they go back when we go to the other room. But meaning at the end of c 8 period, please have somebody bring them back on the cart. I really appreciate it, guys. This is uh, six stations. The six stations are like basically one, you know, four of them are computer related. Two, one's rock related, one is textbook and notes related. And then when you're done, all six, which might take one today, two to three done tonight or tomorrow, and then one done in class on the half day on Wednesday. Um, and then you'll hand it in on Wednesday by midnight. You can do it all in, in Google uh, Docs and, sh and hand it in in the classroom, or you can hand it in on paper if you see me. Or you can arrange to meet me at Dunkin' Donuts and you know, and hand in the paper in person. It's up to you. So have a good day, and you know, hope my daughter feels better soon so I can get back to being a boss at Reynolds Middle School. All right.